Hey, what's up, y'all? Back with another video, and um, it's a new balance. And I guess since Kawhi won the championship, I can do a new balance finally, right? People are starting to pick them up, which means that Kawhi has greater influence than I even thought he could. Or it just means that these things are priced right and people are buying them. I don't know. You make the decision. Let's get into it and look at the box. Of course, there goes the new balance. And um, underneath, we see that the box is made from 100% recycled materials. Good on New Balance. Um, it's front of the box. And uh, style code is CM997HAJ. And this is uh, from the classics. It's uh, So it's a 997. But this is a men's size 9.5. Uh, I won't go into There's no color on the front. You don't get any colors. You just get the width, which is D and medium. And you have the UPC code, but I won't worry about that because I don't think anybody's... Yeah, you know what? I saw that video where they were doing the fakes and they had a New Balance, a fake New Balance store. So the 9.5 UPC is 192-662-415-763. Let's open it up. We don't have any stamps in the top of the box in the lid. And I'm going to pull this out. I do like the paper here. So I'm going to show you this paper. On the inside there is a sticker and it's QC4B. So there's a QC sticker on the inside of the box. Um, let me drop this box down without turning off the taping. I'm going to hold this paper together because their tagline is on it. Fearlessly independent since 1906. And there's another tagline. It looks like it's on the inside of the paper. Let me see. Because this is backwards. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the inside it says, follow no one. Follow no one. It's very bold. I mean, and that's exactly what New Balance is doing. They're not following anyone. Uh, I don't know whether to leave the fearlessly independent up or to have it open up to follow no one. But the shoes themselves, there are some collabs that New Balance has done with this model, the 997. And um, that collab is considered one of the best shoes out but what's interesting is something because I haven't done a lot of New Balance shoes I'm going to make sure I show show this one I do have a lot of New Balance shoes myself I don't wear them as often as I used to because the uh, absorb and end cap make the shoes actually heavy there's 30 shoes so they're almost uh, stability shoes old style stability shoes that have been turned into casual wear um, this loop is pretty much not usable unless you have really small fingers but it does have the new balance going up the hill you have a mesh here at the back leather all the way around and then this blue piece is also leather that's going around the toe then there's mesh at the toe box as well but this heel counter is suede and then this TPU is not the end cap because it doesn't say end cap but you know what it's just a small piece of TPU this is not a running shoe it's a lifestyle shoe you're going to wear this shoe around just kind of kicking it um, I love that really nice pop of pink or solar or whatever you want to call it I really do like the fact that the outsole is not the same absorb it's very light it's a really lightweight shoe but one thing that I just noticed is New Balance has a QR code on the back of the tongue which gives me a chance to take out the other pair trying to see which one doesn't have the shoestrings completely laced up but they both do so I'm going to pull this paper out checking to see if the insole is stuck down and it is not the insole is not stuck down it's a really thick insole just traditional now I went to this bloom facility yesterday for algae and they could make this out of bloom foam which would be a really good thing but let's see if I can get this shoe pulled back enough where I can scan the tongue without messing up the actual shoe. And then I'm going to wrap this video up because it's going too long and we don't want it to go too long. So I'm going to cut parts of this.
Okay, so I was finally able to get that scanned. Now, like the Adidas, it's not as strong as the, um, I don't mean the word strong, it's not as clear as the Nike link that shows up at the top, but it worked. So let's look and see what it does here. It simply shows send email. See if you can see that. Send email, share, send email, search, add, copy content. Um, I'm going to try copy content and that just goes copy content. I'm going to look at send email and it just gives me a send email. I'm going to look at the ad and it's just an ad for the company that's sponsoring the page. And I'm going to hit search and it doesn't give me anything. And then the share is just a share. Um, close it. Once again, just like Adidas and their Yeezy QR code, this QR code does absolutely nothing. I keep reiterating the fact that Nike continues to win because everything they do, they do with this kind of modicum of super professionalism and an understanding of what it takes to capture their consumer. It's really kind of, you know, it's not frustrating. I don't own New Balance. I mean, I sell some of the shoes, but it doesn't really matter to me whether New Balance has got it together. It's just kind of interesting that of all the brands, everybody talks about what Nike does, what Nike doesn't do, and how you can catch Nike. It almost feels as if these brands don't want to catch Nike. They simply want to exist and have some of the runoff that Nike leaves behind. That QR code did nothing. And that just seems kind of pointless to me. That's it for this video. Really didn't want it to be like me battering the brand. Because I was really excited to see the shoe. I mean, and I didn't even show certain parts of it. But. Yeah, also. It's a really lightweight uh, walking shoe. But, you know, as far as marketing is concerned, they could do a better job, of course. And I've been saying that for a while. That's it for this one. See you guys on the next one. Peace.